Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting news coming from the folks at Pilgue, creators of 3D Codes. Now for those who don't know, 3D Codes is one of the most advanced 3D softwares for making high quality 3D models. And 3D Codes actually goes round circle in terms of all the things that you might need from getting a simple clay all the way to making a high quality render because it does have a lot of capabilities in terms of cutting UVs, doing your topology, texturing, and also lighting and rendering your stuff. Now for those who would like to test this out or maybe want to check out some of the works that they have, you can simply go over to the gallery and take a look at some of this amazing stuff. Most of these things and almost everything here was made and also rendered directly in 3D code and you can actually see that this tool has it all. So today's news has to do with the fact that the folks at Pilgue have just announced the open beta test for everyone and this is for the 3D code 2021 version which is yet to be announced. Now, if you would like to try 3D codes, you want to join, you know, the open beta, you want to test these things out, you want to see what and what they're working on and probably get a cool insight on the new features that will be coming over to 3D codes, you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab it. Now, there's a couple of updates that will be coming to this and we'll simply go ahead and talk about those. Now, if you take a look at this, you will notice that there are sets of key features that will be coming to 3D codes 2021, which has to do with the new brush engine, a rich curve tool set low poly modeling has a couple of things coming for it there's also the smart topology new ui and also some beautiful sculpting layer improvement now you might want to scroll all the way down you know read up these things and see for yourself but just to actually highlight some of them some of the cool features as well which you will be seeing is nodes so nodes will be coming over to 3d codes 2021 which means that you can now simply use nodes to actually do a lot of things in terms of making some cool textures and also making some procedural textures and for those who like to do some sort of mesh deformation you can now use this to actually do some pretty cool things right in 3D code. As well, 3D code is also having some very lovely day in terms of some cool things that you can get with the new rendering changes that will be coming as the rendering changes include screen space reflections and also global illumination updates that will be coming to this. There's also the pretty cool procedural environment which you can now generate by simply using Node and there's also a lot more cooler things that you may want to see. Now for those who are also excited about working with Kit Bash, there's now a new Kit Bash room which has to do with a huge set of Kit Bashes that you can work with and these kit bashes you can use them alongside several brushes and you can kit bash an entire scene and this is just one of those things that you can do in 3d code that just simply makes sense there's also a new library of splines which have been added so in case you want to work with the curve or maybe the snake tool you can now use these things and actually do some lovely stuff directly here and for the modeling side of things there's also a couple of updates that deals with the modeling that is coming and some things include things like the smart extrude the spline tool and so on and so forth so for those who like to read more about these things you know you want to see some of these updates you want to catch up with some of them yes there is going to be a link in the description that will launch you right over to this place where you can check these things out and it's very interesting to see that you know last time we did talk about the fact that they have the cloth simulation thing coming and for those who would like to also take a look at some of the other kind of sub simulation stuff that might be coming and you know you like working with things like uh, 3d printing there is also a better undercut molding tool set that will be coming over to 3d code now this is going to help those who are into 3d printing or mold making to get the most out of working with 3d code so huge set of updates are coming and as well for those who like to work with rooms you know you want to create your own room right now you can actually tweak these things and also create your own room to get the most out of it so let's say you like to work in things like a sculpt room you want to create yours you want to tweak that you want to make it look exactly like what you always want to work with this makes sense and unlike other 3d apps that just simply uses you know meshes to actually do your sculpt 3d code does have two types of mesh sculpting which deals with one the voxel and also the surface type of sculpting so for those who haven't tried this at all you don't have an idea about this there's going to be a link in the description that can take you over to where you'll be able to read more about it and if you'd like to test the latest version of 3d code which is their most stable version that is 3d code 4.9.65 you can actually see some of the new updates that is here grab a 30 day trial test these things and you can also notice that it works on both mac windows and also linux and for 
those who like to grab the beta version, you can simply go over here. I'm going to put this link in the description as well, where you can get it. But I did find out something that in most cases, once you download from here, you might not be able to get it to work because I tried out severally and it wasn't working. But then there is another link that can get you over to where you can see a list of the open beta or, you know, a list of the betas that is available. So at this point is where we have this one, which is the one that I have. And this seems to be the only one that I got to work. And hopefully this is also something that the folks at Peelway would fix. But for those who like to come through and grab it from this part, I'm also going to put the link in the description for you guys to take a look at it as well. Now, what does this actually look like? Once you pop this open, this is more like what you can get. So you have a couple of rooms that is now added to this and you can also tweak these things. So right here, you can see a couple of things that has to do with the materials, which are basically your PVR materials that you can work with. Then you have your stencils, your brush and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to switch your rooms and you want to play with this, you can switch from your paint to your tweak room, from your tweak room to your UV room and different things that you get to work with. There are separate rooms for them. So within the UV, you can do all of your UV stuff. You can take a look and see that you have all the UV things that you want. For your retopo, there is a special room for that. And you can also switch to your sculpt room that has all the things that you need for doing your sculpt. And for those who like to work with rendering, you want to render your stuff, you can do that right here. For the factors, there's a new factor room that is available. There's also the simplest room, the modeling room, which has a lot of modeling tools that you can work with. And finally, the new kit bash room that you can now get from here. So if you're looking for like sculpt models that you want to use for your kit bashes, if you're looking for spline models, you would also be able to find a couple of spline, you know, kit bash models from here. For the joints, here are some kit bashes for the joints, which you can work with and you can actually see these things right here. Now, how do you play with this? All you need to do is just click on any of them and position them how you want them to be. And you can click and you have that one right over there. And you can actually go in, tweak these things how you want and get the most out of it. Now, for those who like to get any of this and you want to test these things out, join the community so that you can ask a couple of questions and also get up to speed with how you can work with several tool sets and also several things that have to do with 3D codes and check out the gallery just in case you want to get inspired by several things that creators just like you have done previously. So this is more like it. For those who like to join this, links to all of this is going to be in the description and tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial updates, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.